Good morning, dear friends. Good afternoon. Good evening. We come again in our circle, linking with our with love of our hearts and light of our minds in a group unity to use the power of our focused meditation to visualize and invoke the common good. In the cycle of Sagittarius, we bring our focus to unity. Unity through sounds, to reach beyond the language and culture barriers. And this is part of our overarching purpose in this webinar, this series of webinars, to meditate the spiritual plan for our planet into being by focusing group intention for the common good, by bringing spiritual principles and laws to life in relation to the common good and by magnetizing thought forms of solution for practical action for the common good. So as we continue with this purpose under the influence of Sagittarius, we'll move now together into our alignment through the naming circle. And I'll pass over to you, Tracy. Thank you, Rebecca. As we begin our focus today in this new moon meditation, the naming circle unites our hearts across distance as we begin our alignment and bring ourselves fully into our group work. By uniting our hearts in this way, we begin naturally to work telepathically through our group mind. The key to this telepathic work is in the etheric alignment, which creates the group field and allows it to become both a receiving and transmitting agent for higher ideas and energies. We will begin by calling our names into the circle, starting with our organizers and action area group members. As your name is called, please unmute yourself, say your name and where you are calling in from. For example, Tracy Arbor calling in from Novi, Michigan, USA. And as we go through this, let us turn our attention to our hearts and the heart center of the group gathered today as each one of us calls ourselves into this circle. Alexander. Hi, this is Alexander calling from Brooklyn, New York, United States. Welcome. Rebecca. Hello, this is Rebecca calling in from Queensland, Australia. And I would just at this point also like to acknowledge the Action Area group who has held this. Um, topic across the month um, and the custodians of purpose who have held the topic silently with us as we go forward into our alignment and meditation. Thank you. Thank you, Rebecca, and welcome. Darcy. Hello, this is Darcy calling in from Washington, D.C. area. USA. Welcome. 
Martha. Hello, this is Martha from Weehawken, New Jersey, USA. Welcome. Alethea. Hello, this is Alethea from Sydney, Australia. Welcome. Arita. Welcome, Rita. Avon. Avon, we could not hear you. You were just unmuted. Avon from the San Francisco Bio Region, USA. Welcome. Betty. Denmark. It's Betty from Denmark. Welcome. Yukita. Hello, this is Birgitta from Denmark. Welcome. Catherine. Hi, this is Catherine from Sydney, New South Wales, Australia. Welcome. Dot. Hello, this is Dot from Walpole, New Hampshire, USA. Welcome. Arana. Hello, everyone. This is Arana from Toronto, Canada. Welcome. Fred. This is Fred from Deerfield Beach, Florida. Blessings to everybody. Welcome. Jillian. Jillian. Welcome. Helen. Hello, this is Helen from Chorleywood near London in the UK. Welcome. Jim. Hello, this is Jim Clark. You may that Yucatan, Mexico. Welcome. Joe. Hello, everyone. This is Joe, currently outside Washington, D.C. in the USA. Welcome. John. Hello, everyone. This is John from Herman, Missouri, USA. Welcome. Judy. Hello, this is Judy from Brewster, Massachusetts, USA. Welcome. Karen. Hello, everyone. This is Karen from Portland, Oregon, U.S. Welcome. Maria Cristina. Maria Cristina Donadiu from the Arizona Sonora Desert, uh, outside Tucson, USA, Arizona, USA. Welcome. Martine. Hello, this is Martin from Châtelet, Belgium. Welcome. Maya. Hello, this is Maya from Grass Valley, Northern California. Welcome. Olga. Hello, Olga Deviziani. Thank you. Welcome. Richard. USA. Welcome. Robin. Did 
there is a message from Robin in the chat saying that uh, she's not on the computer and audio ability is not good. Okay. Calling in from Kansas City. Well, welcome, Robin. Tara. Tara, Walpole, New Hampshire, USA. Welcome. Valley. Hello, everyone. This is Valley from Washington, D.C., USA. Welcome. Wendy. Welcome, Wendy. Over to you, Rebecca. Pick up the baton from Tracy and as we linked heart to heart, mind to mind, across distance, let's hold a space of silence, recognizing ourselves as representatives of much larger group of world servers, working together for the advancement of humanity. We focus in a group chalice the intention and the vision of the unity for humanity. And we begin building up the meditative focus towards the meditation starting with sharings of the action area group. And I invite Darcy Sessions to share. Silence is the language of the heart. It 
In silence, we feel the surging energy and exquisite creative intention, creative tension. The living silence, like a powerful chord, rings out as a resounding stream, a majestic symphony, a choir, a soloist, a wave, the ocean, the music of the spheres. Space resounds with a special rhythm at every moment. To think silently is to bring harmony and beauty to discordant thoughts. Silence as action is immersion in the synthesis of the one heart. Silence is action. Conscious silence resounds an effervescent creative tension. Learn to become renewed in silence. Let a fluttering wing from space touch you and bring new sight. Two concordant thoughts in silence increase sevenfold. Imagine the power of humanity's united thought on global cooperation, peace, and freedom. Unity in silence gathers a special energy known as silence as action. 
unite in silence. Over to you, Tracy. Thank you, Darcy. As we embark into the new moon cycle of Sagittarius and the mutable cross upon which it lies, we enter a time of opportunity to actively implement long-term aspirations for humanity and our planet giving them form. The arrows of the centaur, which are capable of reaching and penetrating deep in the plants of higher manas and buddhi, set into motion vibrations, which begin a process of imprinting thought forms of divine intent. These thought forms can be received as impressions in the lower mind of man through the voice of the silence. As we turn inward and attune to these subtle vibrations with purposeful intent, we become an active participant in creating new forms on the lower mental, astral, and physical etheric planes. Aspirating to the highest goals Sagittarius points us towards wisdom through mental creativity and imagination. Lying on the mutable cross and assisted by its esoteric planetary ruler Earth, Sagittarius resonates with the note of the third ray of active intelligence. The sound it sets forth is the musical tone F or Fa corresponds to the color green and nature and presents qualities such as adaptability and alchemy. The subtle vibrations of this note arouse petals within the nucleus of man, his egoic lotus. It is from this center that a multitude of creative outcomes will arise. Real change starts from within, and its reverberations are felt throughout the phenomenal world.
Man himself is the temple of the grandest of all the mysteries of nature in our solar universe. Then is in harp, two strings, one made of pure silver and the other catgut. Softly over the former, man becomes like unto his God. But the other set feels it not. It needs the breeze of a strong terrestrial wind, impregnated with animal effluvia, to set its animal cords vibrating. It is the function of the physical lower mind to act upon the physical organs and their cells. Interacting with cells alone capable of exciting the brain center cord to a mental representation of spiritual ideas far beyond any objects of this material plane. Disciples may be likened to the strength of the soul acting vena, mankind's chaos beneath the master and he breaks and gets away. So the collective minds of disciples have to the over soul or brain collectively. They must keyboard answering in all its parts to the lightest touch, touch of master. Thus their minds shall open the harmonies of wisdom to vibrate as knowledge through each and all, resulting in effects pleasing to the presiding patron angels and useful to the disciples. So shall wisdom be impressed forever on their hearts, and the harmony of the law shall never be broken. The Tibetan tells us the law of vibration is the law of the first, the highest plane of our solar system. It marks the beginning of the work of the Logos, the first setting in motion of the primal substance. It controls the breaking up of the one into the seven, and then the reabsorption back into the one. It is the basic law of evolution 
which necessitates involution. It is analogous to the first movement which the Logos made to express himself through this solar system. He uttered the sound, a threefold sound, one sound for each of his three systems and started a ripple on the ocean of space. The sound grows in volume as time progresses and when it has reached its full volume, when it is fully completed, it forms one of the notes of the major cosmic chord. Underlying this great logoic purpose is the working out of ways which will result in true group unity. All that is to be seen might be regarded as a gigantic endeavor on the part of a great intelligence to produce a group. And evolution is to be regarded, therefore, as a vast experiment with this objective in view. Through man, standing as he does at the point of triple awareness of the subhuman, the human and the superhuman, can be worked out intelligently the laws of group unity for all three groups. The developed principle of intelligence, or manas, operates as the intelligent purpose that is bringing about at one on each plane of the solar system. It will eventually bring about the synthesis of all the planes and thus bring the cosmic physical plane as a unified whole under the complete control of the cosmic entity who is seeking expression through that threefold manifestation we call a solar system or the body logoic. On the third plane, the threefold sound becomes the threefold word. For here, the intelligent or manesic principle as both coherent activity and as the triple vibration of spirit, matter, intelligence is sounding as the threefold sacred word. On the seventh or lowest plane, hearing, hearing, very appropriately is the first sense to be manifested. The first aspect of manifestation is that of sound and necessarily therefore we would expect sound to be the first thing noticed by man on the physical plane. The plane of densest manifestation and of the most marked effects of sound regarding it as a creative factor. Man on the physical plane has to come to full cognizance of the effect of the sacred word as it is in the process of sounding forth. As it reverberates throughout the system, it drives matter into its appointed place and on the physical plane, its point of deepest material materiality and of most concrete demonstration. Underlying the arrangement of matter is the etheric or form-making substance. Through this medium, every human being 
is basically related to every other expression of the divine life, minute or great. The etheric body of the individual is a part of the etheric body of humanity, and this in its turn is an aspect of the etheric body of the planet, which is likewise an intrinsic part of the etheric body of the solar system. This web of life is the subjective analogy to the nervous system and can be pictured as a network of nerves and plexus running throughout the entire body or the sum total of all forms coordinating and linking and producing an essential unity. Within that unity is diversity, just as the varied organs of the human body are interrelated by the ramification of the nervous system. So within the body of the planetary logos are the various kingdoms in nature and the multiplicity of forms related. Behind the objective universe is the subtler sensitive body, one organism, not many, one sentient, responsive, connected form. Within the context of this unity, man must activate the listening capacity that emanates from the hearing sense to discover and turn the key which reveals the mystery of sound across the multiple layers of the universal nervous system. Through listening on the physical plane, he discovers his own sound. On the astral plane, he discovers the sound of his brothers. On the mental plane, he begins to find his group note. On the buddhic plane or plane of wisdom, he begins to find the note of his planetary logos. And on the atmic or spiritual plane, the logoic note begins to sound within his consciousness. Thus the seeker finds his way to unity through sound. Such oneness, unity, synthesis and identification exist today in word, as words related to consciousness and as expressing what is at present unattainable to the mass of men. The concept of unity leading to cooperation, to impersonality, to group work and to realization plus a growing absorption in the plan are some of the terms which can be used to express soul awareness in relation to the hierarchy. The sound of our Logos in whom we live and move and have our being grows in volume as time progresses. And when it has reached its full volume, when it is fully completed, it forms one of the notes in the major cosmic chord.
true unity can be achieved only through soul consciousness. Humanity through its history was trying to achieve unity on the physical plane through multiple unions, treaties, wars. The union was sought. So that union has been temporarily and fleeting as it's been based on power, interests, or inspirations. And as the course of events changes and physical reality modifies the unity that's been achieved for a moment dissolves. That's the nature of the physical world reality where diversity rules and diversity celebrated. The true unity can be recognized only through the eyes of the soul. When soul awakened and manifests and speaks through mind and physical brain, then the inner reality of unity, which is the law of the universe, can be manifested on the physical plane. We live in a time of amazing transformation happening in the fabric of human family. It is time when thousands and millions of people awaken to the reality of the soul they reach to the consciousness and they recognize, recognize their unity with everyone and everything. And this transformation is the true nature of the coming Aquarian age. This is the revolution of consciousness. This is the core of the new world religion. When every individual can hear the sound of own soul and through that sound is capable to reach beyond the limits of language and cultural barriers. As this revolution in consciousness happens, that individual and as a collective of individuals, we start moving from the so-called ancient law of evil sharing towards the law of ancient dominating good. Those are the two laws that uh, 
part of the second law of healing presented in esoteric healing by Alice Bailey. As we start living as souls, we start vibrating and sharing the most ancient law of dominating good. Revolution of consciousness in individual is momentous. The light in the head that illumines everything and changes everything. Though within humanity, this is a slow process of evolution as every individual shifts one by one to the soul consciousness. And therefore this shift from the law of evil sharing that dominates the physical world to the law of the ancient law of dominating good is a gradual process. Therefore, as this evolutionary transformation happened in society, we see and we should be prepared the re reaction from those peoples and from those groups of people who still are subject to the laws of material existence. And we need to learn the way how to build and maintain right relationships and how to resolve the emerging conflicts through harmony and love and recognize that while still being focused on the physical plane of existence majority of those people are under the influence of forces that will gradually lose control. And as the soul consciousness prevail, we need to learn to stand in power of consciousness and to be strong. And that is the way of transformation. That's the unity that we achieve through listening to the sound of own soul to the sound of our brothers and sisters and to the sound of much bigger wisdom existing in the universe.
So as we hold the common good of our beautiful planet Earth within the chalice, we bring our minds together, stimulated by these ideas, and we form together with deliberateness, with conscious weaving of the light, our meditation chalice. Bringing together the alignment in one thread from the sound of our voices in the naming circle. Striking the note of group unity as we form the chalice. And into the silence, seed thoughts for the accretion of our consciousness and the magnetization of the higher energies and thought forms will be offered and placed. Dusty. I am one with my group brothers, and all that I have is theirs. May the love which is in my soul pour forth to them. May the strength which is in me lift and aid them. May the thoughts which my soul creates reach and encourage them. Tracy, subtle vibrations stoke the fires of higher mind and through conscious awareness and intent we come into resonance with the higher planes so we may hear 
and discern new ways for humanity to assist in the unfoldment of the divine plan. We emerge from the great silence, propelled by the force of the Logoic voice. Through sound, we are manifested. Through listening, we find our souls, find each other's notes and hear the resonance of ourselves in harmony with the universal song. Alexander, listening to the sound of own soul, and the sound of souls of others. We manifest the unity on earth.
within the meditative silence. We have created strands of vibrations, thoughts which are the manifestation of sound and light. Let us see them flowing together into one great vibratory stream that pours into our chalice. and overflows distributing itself to all places where it is needed, where it can be absorbed and used, where it can nourish and uplift. through its silent, aligned, light-filled vibration. And as we close the meditation, we connect again with ourselves as a part of our meditative chalice. And we ground ourselves within the receptivity of the listening of our own hearts. As we move together in circle to share our impressions as we continue the weaving of our work today. We hold a few minutes of focused silence. Noticing any impressions which we invite us to write down and share them. Either in your chat window or on the resource summary page. The link is in the chat. or with your voice after a period of silence.
And as we emerge from silence, we open the space for our weaving and sharing. If you would like to speak, please raise your hand and unmute yourself. There's a comment from Jillian. I have new headphones and I cannot can hear okay, but obviously cannot be heard. There are many discordant noises on social media. By putting love in comments, we can't dilute the hatred and bring about more harmony. I am here is a group that does this. Hashtag I'm here is a group that does this. Thank you for this presentation. And I'm sorry that I was unable to participate fully. Thank you, Julian. It's definitely an important topic and uh, we invite you and everyone to uh, join the reflection process on this topic as we prepare for the Capricorn uh, new moon when we will be reflecting and meditating on um, how we can work as a group observer for the common illusions and glamours in search of the truth of the age of disinformation but I will talk about it in a bit Thank you, Jillian. Ellen wrote the comments, what a magical note sounded. Thank you all. Thank you, Helen. It's, it's truly a m magical process of the group unfoldment. And uh, as I was preparing to speak, I was thinking that I would share some jokes and it be more informal but the flow of the group just was different and it was impossible to go against that flow and uh, that's a beauty of this unfolding experiment working with the group uh, as we together been working for a month sharing meeting together reflecting and a lot of things been shared through this month and what we share today is just a top of the iceberg but it's this flow is that magic of the group unfoldment which again i invite you all to participate volunteering to in this for this process next month and all the coming months Maybe anyone from the action area group would like to share about that. Thank you, Alexander. This is Tracy. Um, you know, what came to me 
was a Taoist meditation that, yeah, but uh, I'd like to share it with you. Close your eyes and you will see clearly. Cease to listen and you will hear truth. Be silent and your heart will sing. Seek no contacts and you will find union. Be still and you will move forward on the tide of the spirit. Be gentle and you will need no strength. Be patient and you will achieve all things. Be humble and you will remain entire. When we talk about working as a group together, we can listen to each other and hear through heartfelt connections. That which you don't really see in the outer world, what will come about. I think the more we learn to listen to each other silently and not so much react outwardly, especially in haste, which we see a lot in the world right now. Um, you can hear more, more pain. Um, through the different areas of media that we listen to or thoughts that people are expressing at this time. But knowing what we know and having a deep connection, the fear seems Vibration of love is able to come through. Most but hopefully we can bring that silence out into the world through our action, our silent action, we hope. Thank you, Tracy. Uh, Judy, please unmute yourself. Uh, during the uh discussion when it was mentioned that we move from evil sharing uh, to emanating universal goodness. Uh, I just let that land uh, and really didn't think about it. But in the meditation, it was real clear that when you move to the resonance of soul, and then beyond that, you move to the coherence of group, the resonance becomes finer and finer, and the mesh becomes more uh, a sheet of oneness and you can understand where evil sharing is really just discordant individual sounds and you move to that higher level and there is no place for it to enter and so it really struck me that that is what it means by sealing the door where evil dwells and if we can hold that note that higher note and support the resonance for uh, other others to connect on that soul level, then really that is the uh, emanation of universal goodness. So that was a real palatable felt sense and an understanding of what that meant. So thank you.
Thank you for that wonderful insight. Thank you, Trudy. One of the messages that um, came uh, from uh, a group in Moscow, in Russia, during this Sagittarius um, cycle, Sagittarius month, and I've heard it through several people with whom I'm in touch, it's they were saying that as we meditate, for humanity to move towards the soul consciousness, we should put our efforts in supporting those who are awakened to the soul consciousness, not trying to awake those who, who are asleep still. As premature awakening might be um, quite turbulent according to them, but their, their impression that it's, it's important to support those who already awakened and send our energy towards them. I think that's a, it's Rebecca here. I think that's a really beautiful and deep um, contemplation and um, thing to think about in the way we act and live and sound our notes in the world because um, on the level of sound um, on the physical plane, it's the, the ear as the receptive organ um, that that filters and responds to the different bands of sound. And I think if we're sounding our notes and our group notes and we're attuning to the higher through the different planes notes as much as we can and embodying that sound and radiating it, um, then what we're emitting will will contain a richer and richer band of vibrations um, that will become available to all we contact um, to the level of their reception apparatus. And so we can nourish on, on all different levels. Um, and um, it's, a, it's a fact that the, um, Higher vibrations um, are what stimulate the brain, um, that stimulate the the higher parts of the brain um, through through the very fine um, hair cells in our ears. And so, um, as we sound those higher vibrations, it is also providing stimulation naturally without having to direct um, the, the awakening of the capacity to hear those vibrations in those who are ready and whose, whose apparatuses are starting to be prepared. So um, it's a, <laughs> a, a oral analogy of what that Russian group is saying that, um, you know, uh, we don't have to, to sound our, our sound in a particular direction or increase its volume or try to impress it upon anyone by simply 
allowing it to sound, um, it will find its its level of reception and um, then that love that's contained in that sound can do its work in whatever way is needed for each person or group that we contact with, with or without our conscious knowing. Yes, Rebecca, I, I appreciate what you the group in Russia contributed um, and it brought to mind the high vibrations that we hold, the higher the vibration, the uh, more magnetic our aura becomes. And of course we know the second ray is all engulfing and uh, if both of us hold that level, our auras will automatically become more magnetic. And not only draw in, but engulf and comfort and hold a higher field for uh, without having to speak words. There was some sound uh, interference, uh, not very clear sound coming from you, Tracy. But thank you. The, the main message came through. Thank you. I think we're now uh, close to the end of our time together this time in this circle and I want again uh, emphasize in the magic of the group work that uh, we shared today is the result of the continuous uh, work of the uh, of this group that's been throughout the month and I in we invite you to uh, join the next the coming month action area groups or one of the coming uh, month uh, you see on your screen the topics for our coming meditations as we continue focusing on the common good in our meditation and uh, through uh, each cross we work with one of the three topics that so we chose as focus for our work this year as unfoldment of the common good. And please contact us if you would be interested to join one of these groups and uh, this is an experiment in our group self-organized magic or uh, self-unfolding magic I would say so the next uh, cycle we work with the topic group observer illusion glamour and search for truth in the age of disinformation and in this um, rest of the month and still number of webinars uh, scheduled for the 2025 initiative um, please take uh, uh, um, notes in your uh, calendars. Uh, there will be in very interesting uh, webinars planned for the period of the full moon. And uh, there will be a number of events happening around the solstice, as you know. And I want to invite uh, Darcy to tell us about very important opportunity for our group cooperation, which is not listed here because it's listed on a separate slide. Over to you, Darcy. Yes. Thank you, um, everyone, for a, a very rich, resounding immersion into the gift 
of sound and through its varied applications to even the place of silent sound. Um, there is unity in that which gathers a very special spiritual energy uh, known as silence is action. And the Global Silent Minute Initiative prepares and has been preparing um, all year for the next upcoming solstice, December 21st, um, 4 p.m. in New York. Uh, here's the times on the screen. And we invite you to join in whatever way um, that you're able to participate. And um, I see that there's a PDF flyer giving you all the information that will um, hopefully uh, allow you to serve and to participate at every level or any level that you choose. And I want to say that the slides used today were created and are being used to help bring forth the thought forms into humanity's consciousness around the Global Silent Minute and the power of silence began as a spiritual weapon during World War II and was utilized for the ultimate defeat of the axis of evil. And that has been inspired and brought forth again by the group to be utilized during this time, these turbulent times, and a daily alignment of one minute of silence is practiced at 9 p.m. GMT. Um, so we invite you to join in that global silent minute on the solstice with an exquisite alignment between the Lord of Light, Saturn, and the Lord of Love, Jupiter, in conjunction for the first time in the zero degree of Aquarius. And may we stay and be of heart and realize that the gnawing and the gnashing of peace in our human kingdom will be uplifted by our higher sounding and higher notes, including that of silence. May we be the will to love. Nay. Just will add to this that the daily meditative vigil that have been happening this year at 9 p.m. GMT will hold the space of silence in conjunctions with the Global Silent Minute starting 24 minutes before the hour and continuing for 24 minutes after the hour holding this space of silence for 49 minutes. Over to you, Rebecca. Thank you, Alexander and Darcy and everyone. We've gone a little over time, so um, gratitude to those of you who are still with us and holding the space to completion. Let us sound the soul mantram to draw our work together. We are the soul. 
and also love we are. Above all else, we are will and fixed design. Our will is now to lift the lower self into the light divine. That light we are. Therefore, we must descend to where the lower self awaits our coming. That which desires to lift and that which cries aloud for lifting are now at one. Such is our will. Oh. Thank you. 